Welcome to our parade house. This is our Winter Wonderland Parade. It is a Sagemore with pantry. So it's our larger version. It's 1663 square feet. Let's go inside and check it out. Here in the garage you'll see that we use a belt driven garage door opener which is very energy efficient and more quiet and smooth than most doors. You'll have a service door from the garage to the, to the outside and you'll have your firewall with your service door from the garage to the house. As you enter the home, you'll enter into the back foyer and have a view of the kitchen and dining area. In that back entry, you'll have a nice locker system where you'll have storage up above area for shoes and boots below, and hooks to hang your coats in the middle. On the other side of that service door, you will have a nice coat closet. From that entry, you will have the laundry room, where you'll have the washer-dryer hookup, a small utility closet for broom, dustpan, cleaning supplies, and you will have a folding counter on the other end. Headed further down the hall, you will enter into the master. In the master, you will find windows along the back, one on each side of the bed the way we have it staged, a nice tray ceiling. In this home, we've done some contrasting colors. And then you will find a nice private master bath. In the private master bath, usually we do kitchen height countertops to give you a little more height for adults. In this particular home, we actually have vessel sinks on a standard vanity height. A nice large linen, stool, and a five foot shower with benches. Across from the vanity, you do have a nice walk-in closet with an arched header. You could certainly put in a pocket door or have some modifications made there. We are full custom, so if you don't quite like exact details here, we can certainly style it to your preferences. When entering the kitchen from the back entry, you will have the refrigerator on the right, the sink on the angle with garbage disposal, dishwasher on the other side of the room, stove, walk-in pantry, and kind of a catch-all counter. So a very nice working kitchen. On the other side of the snack area, you do have a nice dining area. Off the dining area, we have a patio door to be able to have some outdoor space for entertaining. From that dining room area and kitchen, you do have the great room, which is opened. So you do have a nice open concept, great for entertaining. In the great room, you will have a gas fireplace and an open stairwell to the lower level. Your main front entry door, and there's the stairwell. We've done it as a half wall with a maple cap. You certainly could do it with open balusters and handrail. In that great room, we also have a gas fireplace with some contrasting paint on the wall to give us some definition. A tile surround is standard with a wood mantle. The fireplace itself is a heat and glow with electronic ignition. So the pilot light is not on 24-7. When you flip the switch, it lights the pilot light, which lights the burner. More efficient and definitely more cost effective on your gas bill. This home has been done with the dark Kona finish, which is a darker stain, almost a dark chocolate coffee color. We've done the hardwood floors in the kitchen, dining, and foyer, two shades lighter than our cabinetry to give us a nice contrast. This plan is a split bedroom ranch, so on the other end of the home, opposite the great room, you do have another bath, Linen behind the door, 
full tub, stool, and vanity. Then you have a bedroom up front. We have some staging materials in there for our parade. So there's a lot of information about the subdivision, information about Energy Star, and then some plans. Off the other direction, in our back bedroom, I have pictures of different plans to be able to customize and modify. In our homes, we use a train furnace and train air conditioner as standard. Here you will also see our touchscreen programmable thermostat. It's a full seven day programmable and we also install a dehumidistat to control moisture content in your new home. As we head downstairs, you can see we finish the staircase with carpet, skirt boards, nice heavy quality handrail. And when we have unfinished space downstairs, we do put a door at the bottom to be able to close off that area. Here in the basement, you will find a power vent water heater, trained furnace, which is a 95% efficient. We frame with engineered floor joists, supported with TJIs and solid jack posts. You'll also find we spray foam all of our box sills to make our home more efficient. Our sump pump is going to be a sealed, submersed sump pit that's vented to the outside. We have plumbing for future bath right in the concrete floor. And we put an egress window in as standard. Along both sides of the egress window, you'll find a V-groove, kind of a fault line, and then we put a rubber barrier down into the concrete because when you put an egress window in, we'll guarantee that the wall's going to end up cracking. So we put a fault line in so it cracks where we want it to crack and that you have a water barrier and stabilizer in, right in the concrete. That is our tour of the Sagemore. Thank you for your time watching this video.